So I've got a quick story I'll, I'll share real quick. Um, and I debated whether or not to share the story, but uh, uh, recently I was with a client at their retreat talking about Gen Y. We, we do, uh, we're kind of students of Gen Y. And, uh, and uh, on my way back from the retreat, I'm sitting on the airplane, and a young man, 21, 22 years old, comes next to me. He sits down, he gets all his gadgets in line just so, and he's ready to take off on the plane. And uh, so of course, I struck up a conversation about technology, and generational differences and how they feel about technology. And I asked them a question. If you had to give up your technology, what would you rather give up? Your technology or an appendage? And he thoughtfully considered and he looked at me and said, an appendage. <laughs> and I was surprised and uh, amused. I said, well, does it matter which? And he said, well, hmm, probably a foot because I need my hands for my smartphone. <laughs> Although, one of my friends was in Iraq and he lost a forearm and they were able to put his phone into the prosthetic. Wow. 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 This is a commitment that this generation has to technology. Mm -hmm. And I must say, I'm as committed as Gen Y and I'm a latchkey carrying member of Gen X. And uh, I think many of the people in this room are probably very tied to their phones. And so it's not just a Gen Y question, but this is commitment. And this is where the world's going. And this, this guy was absolutely serious, too. So, um, good story. So where is the future taking us? What does mobile look like even in two years? What do our devices look like in two years? Can you imagine what they look like? You know, perhaps they're disposable plastic or some sort of sheet of glass that's connected to the internet somehow. Maybe it's some sort of visualization device, holograph, you know, Star Trek kind of stuff. You know, maybe it's on our hands, maybe it's on our watch. It seems like convenient to have your communications and your data right here on your arm. To be able to talk into it, get things done, productivity. Maybe it's a combination of both. Could be simple wristwatch pops out, you don't know what mobile's gonna be. Could be a set of glasses, right? Maybe Oakley is the Apple of the future. Maybe it's Ray-Ban. Screens in our field of vision giving us a new look at the world. This has already been introduced. Sergey Brin at Google. This is called Google Goggles. Give us an augmented reality of what we're seeing when we walk down the road. It may not look that cool. In fact, until you don't look like a jerk anymore, <laughs> they won't be that cool. No one's going to wear them if they're not cool looking. Sorry. Gen X thing.